Delia. Come here, Delia. What you doing, girlfriend? You sit. You look like you've been playing in the mud. You want a high five? High five. Oh, sit, sit. Good job. High five. Yeah, good job. One more time. High five. Yeah, good girl. Are you gonna teach little Zephyr to high five? Okay, hubby's just out here in the barn. He's milking without me. He always gets started, then I come help him. Help. It's really not much to do when you have milkers. It kind of it's just simple. Which is why I go to say, you know, if you're gonna have a milk cow, make it streamlined, simple, no fuss, no muss. And it, it makes it totally rewarding. Anyways, let's go see what hubby's up to. I'm not even gonna look at the door holes the bag. Ah, he brought the wrong cow. And there's a chicken in there. Woo, Gordon don't like a chicken. See ya, Cora. That chicken doesn't sound very happy. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go look in the barn and see if they're laying in there, because I heard some out there yesterday. I was wondering, I looked there the other day, I didn't see any, but... There's none in here? That's not to say I must walk by or not. There's no eggs in here? You haven't get in? In this barn? I'll look all here, doesn't matter. Alright, I'm gonna go look in the barn. But, you know, there'll be a tall patch of weeds somewhere, they'll lay in there too. Right? I know, that's the thing. The chickens have gone on hiatus. So either they're not laying, or they're laying and hiding them, and I can't find them. So I'm gonna go look over here in the barn and see if we got any eggs in this big barn. It's a big horse barn. It's pretty old and run down. Uh, it really needs to be remodeled. It's kind of a neat old barn. There's some walnuts. Looks like my Richard's got this all cleaned out. But I don't see any wavels. Oh, it's got a cobweb in my mouth. Yep, yeah, maybe they're not laying. Or maybe they're laying in the grass somewhere and we can't find it because the weeds are insane. Look in there. See, it just needs a ton of work. Look at that. And I'm not afraid of the work. It's the the money it's going to cost to fix this barn. Because well, it's expensive. So. Um, we have considered turning this barn into a house. That might be kind of fun. Wouldn't that make a cool house? It'd be huge. Um, in the next couple years, we're either gonna turn this barn into a house, or we're gonna build another house and fix up this barn. But for now, it's got these stalls. Mm, it's handy dandy. Oh. What, wonder what the inside of one of these old barns looks like. This is it. Pretty neat. Of course, if these aren't open, I don't know how they get in there. But you know, chickens, where there's a wheel, there's a way. And I think they might just win this round. There's no straw or anything in here, and usually, if there's no straw, they won't lay in there. So. Oh, eggs. We got all these stalls, which is good, like for when the pig has babies. I'm saying not when, not if, because I'm really hoping she has piglets sometime this year. The biggest thing about this barn is it needs a new roof, and that's what's, that's what's tearing it up so bad, is just the roof is so bad. We screwed it back down when we first bought it, but the metal's all curled up and just destroyed. The wasp's nest in here. Yeah, I don't see the eggs out here. And if they were laying out here, it'd be somewhere, probably in the weeds. So yeah. 
and there's the back of the barn. That'd be really cool if we turned it into a house, huh? We could do like a walkout basement right here on the side of the hill. We get a lot of work, but seriously thinking about it. The only problem I've got is it's so close to the milk barn. See, here's the, the barn. There's the milk barn. So I'm sad about our farmhouse because. To be honest, it was my dream house. But coming back here to Myrtle, it's so peaceful and it's so just good to be home. It's super awesome. guys over here look like they're looking for some water. I just took the hose out like an hour ago. I need to get a bigger trough in here for you guys, huh? Yeah, you guys, maybe the pigs spilled it all. Kind of looks like they might have. Here comes the pig. Okay, so I still have never thought of names for these pigs. Which, since I decided we're going to keep them, I probably should think of names for them. So any name suggestions would be greatly appreciated. Because I have no idea. Well, our last mule food hog, we named her Thelma. Picks me a nice little waller right here. Everybody looks like they're doing good over here. Okay, I just got to thinking about it. It's been a while since anybody looked in the chicken coop for eggs, just because they weren't laying in there anymore. So I think I'm gonna go look in the chicken coop. And maybe by some fluke, our freeloaders laid eggs. You know, they might have stopped laying. It's very They stopped laying because it's the end of the summer. And we moved them. So when chickens get upset, they stop laying. I'm gonna go look in their spots. We haven't looked for a while. We just assume that they aren't laying there anymore. So let's see. Ooh, problems. Nope. No eggs. Darn it. Look in the chicken coop. Okay, major update. We haven't gotten eggs for weeks now. I've been buying crappy store eggs. Brad just found eggs. <laughs> Where are they? <gasps> oh my gosh. Those look like guinea eggs. No, I've been driving this tractor. It takes three weeks to hatch a clutch. Look at that, we got eggs, woohoo! They might be just be those orphan kings. They lay this part egg too. Look at that. Three little eggs. Good job, Brad. Keep up the good work. Yay! Breakfast! Yes! Just so you know, I eat breakfast. Eggs for breakfast. Every single day. And no matter how much I pay for store eggs, five, six dollars, a dozen, their yolks are never as dark as the yolks I get from my chickens. And I just feel better when I eat my eggs. So... Happy day!
Seriously. Say cheese. Cheese. Say cheese.